Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's clean and simple card making video. Today I'm going to use these dies. I've got four leaf dies and a scripty font thanks die with its shadow. My idea for this card was to create lots of leaves and have them running in a line down the left hand side of my card about a third of the way in. So I started by creating my leaves. I took a piece of smooth white card and blended on some tattered rose distress oxide. I didn't go for a perfect blend, I went for something quite patchy and variegated like a leaf. And then over the top of that I put on some dried marigold distress oxide again in a patchy way. Next I used my leaf dies to die cut out some leaves funnily enough from my orangey paper. I stuck them down with washi tape and ran them through my Gemini mini and I managed to get 10 leaves out of this piece of coloured paper. I put my leaves on my photopolymer grip mat and then use sponged finger daubers to add some ink around the edges, again for variation. On half the leaves I use spiced marmalade, which is a stronger, deeper orange, and on the other half of the leaves I used vintage photo, which is a nice warm brown. So these leaves are clearly autumnal fall leaves. To bring in some shimmer and shine, because you know how much I love my shimmer and shine, I spattered on some copper metallic paint. I spattered that onto the leaves that I'd added the spice marmalade ink to. And then I spattered on a redder copper, a redder copper, a deeper copper, some kind of other copper that's a bit more red metallic paint. And I splattered that onto the ones that I'd inked with brown ink. I also spritzed on a bit of water to encourage the metallic paint to move about and run along the embossed veins on these leaves. To dry them I used my hair dryer and to stop them flying across my craft room I stuck them to a bit of post-it tape and held them down with my tweezers as I worked along. Once those were dry, I inked the edges again just to bring out the definition. So I used the same spice marmalade and vintage photo. To stick my leaves on my card, I added a strip of tape runner down the left hand side, about a third of the way in. And then I stuck on my large leaves in a cascade down the card, pointing in all different directions. To make sure they were super stuck down, I used some matte gel medium in a fine nozzle tipped bottle and glued down the tips of those leaves. And then I added my smaller leaves on top. Again, I used matte gel medium to stick these down, making sure that the leaves are in good contact with one another. The nice thing about matte gel medium is that it does dry matte and won't leave glossy smears on your project. Once I got all those stuck down where I wanted them, I pressed down hard with some non-stick deli paper. You don't have to use deli paper. You can use greaseproof paper, baking parchment, probably even tracing paper, or spare release paper from stickers and things. For my sentiment, I wanted to die cut my word out of some dark brown card. So I used walnut stain, which is a really rich, deep, warm brown. I blended that onto some smooth white card and then die cut out the thanks. I also die cut the shadow from smooth white card. Using my fine tip bottle, I applied matte gel medium again to the back of the word thanks and then stuck that on its shadow. To give this a little bit of lift, I added some very thin foam tape. This is only about a millimetre thick. It does give a appreciable amount of lift, but it doesn't stop the card going through the UK postal system as a regular card. I am denied about where to put this on the card, whether to put it near the top or the bottom, and I eventually settled for the top, and I used my T-square ruler to help me get that on straight. This wouldn't be a card of mine if it didn't have some kind of dots on it. So I used some copper glitter cardstock circles from my little stash of die cut circles and glued them down around and about the sentiment and the leaves in a cascade coming down the card. 
I showed my card to my daughter at this point and she said it needed some more dimension and suggested Nouveau drops. So I got my copper penny Nouveau drops out and mingled those amongst the circles. So there's two types of copper circles, glitter cardstock circles and copper penny Nouveau drop circles. I wanted a bit more shine on my card, so I added some Nouveau crystal glaze to the copper glitter cardstock circles. So they're now slightly dimensional and glossy, and that gloss really does bring out the glitter in the cardstock. It's lovely. And that is this card done and dusted. I do hope you've enjoyed this brief video today. And it's given you another idea of something you can create with maybe the leaf dies or the sentiment dies that you've got in your stash already if it has please do leave a thumbs up let me know in the comments subscribe ring the notification bell and i'll see you back here very soon for my next video thanks for watching bye for now